Hi everyone, in this particular video we will have a detailed discussion on transaction control language that we also call as a TCL in MySQL. So first of all we should understand what is transaction. So in simple term transaction is nothing execution of multiple SQL statement. Okay. So whenever we are running some sort of a SQL statement that we call as a transaction. So these transaction whenever we execute so they are not saved permanently. So you can say whenever you execute any update statement, insert statement, delete statement. So they are not stored directly. Okay. So they are being done logically. So as a developer, it's your duty to save these particular tasks permanently into the database. So the saving of task is called as a commit. And in case if you wanted to undo the task that we call as a rollback. Okay. These are the two very simple terms that you should remember. Now, Remember one more thing. So if you are executing a transaction that should be completed or it should not be completed. So we cannot uh, lie in between the partial execution. So partially anything cannot be done. Okay. So either you will be uh, doing the things completely or you will be discarding the things. Okay. So there will be no partial execution of task that will happen. So let's understand this TCL with a very simple approach. How uh, practically we are going to see this work. So, so remember this TCL is stands for transaction control language. Now for maintaining this transaction, okay, there are a few mechanisms. So let's understand uh, in a very simple term. So we have a Shakila database here. So in case if you don't find out the Shakila database, you can just uh, take it out from uh, the internet. I have already posted this particular video. You can get it from the suggestion bar. Now, so let's say here i have created a table let's say regex okay and it contains some id with name and uh, id variable so let's do it here okay and uh, let's insert the data so let me just drop it might be this table could be present okay so i'm not going to take the risk so I'm going to insert the data. So I hope you already know how to insert the data here. So let's let's execute. Okay, it will just take two seconds for me. And done. Okay. So what we have done, we have created a table. Okay, that consists the two data. That is uh, this ID one with the name Tushar two and with the value Aman. Now what we are going to do is we uh, have inserted the data. So whenever we are inserting the data, whenever we are running a sort of a DML statement that we call as a transaction. Okay. So we are executing a transaction. So these transactions should be either saved into my database or either it should not be saved. Okay. So how to verify? So I'm just opening my second session just to verify whether these things has been done or not. So I am going to search my SQL command line client okay just to verify i have my password i am going to use the same shakila database and my table name is regex so let's see either i got the data yes i got the data so that means whatever things we have done it that has been saved successfully so that means my transaction is done completely now so why this transactions has been done completely because in mysql we have a certain property that define whether the transaction will be saved at the same time or not. Okay. And that we do with the help of a variable. There is a automatically system variable that we call as a auto commit. Auto commit. So you see you have a system variable name as auto commit whose value is set to one. One means it is set to true. So whatever task you are going to execute, whatever transactions you are going to execute, they will be saved at the same time. Okay. So now what you have to do, you have to undo this. So that means like whenever you start the transaction, they will not be saved permanently into the database. So it will wait for you to uh, execute it, to save it. Okay. So I'm going to set this value to zero. And if I just show you once more, so earlier on we have seen the value was one. Now if you see the value is zero. So that means now if I start the work, if I do the changes, so they, the changes will not be seen directly into my database. So let's insert the data one more, once more. So I have inserted the data, let's say values with three and let's say Isha. Okay. Now, 
So you see we have inserted the data, let's verify. So whether these transactions has been saved here or not. So you see we have inserted the data, but if I show you here, so you see that uh, the data has been not saved. Why the data has been not saved? Because that these particular transaction, these particular DML operation that is a insert, they are not being saved right now, okay? So how we have avoided it? By setting this auto commit property. So what this auto commit does, it basically whatever statement you execute like DML, DADL, whatever you like, okay? So they will store the data permanently into the database. So to avoid this, we have set this property as zero and whenever we have run this insert statement, so that means whenever we are executing a DML statement here, the transactions are not saved into the database. So for that reason, so here you see we get the three data here, but if I show you the same data in the second session, it is not there, okay? Now in case if you wanted to store this transaction, okay? So as we have mentioned, the transaction will be done completely or it will be not done. So in case if you wanted to store this transaction to be seen everywhere, we have to call commit, okay? If in case if you call commit, what will happen? So this commit is going to store the data permanently into the database and the transaction will be ended. Okay, so remember whenever you execute a commit statement, the changes you have made will be stored into the database and your transaction will be end. So when you start the transaction, so if you are performing an insert statement, that means you have started the transaction. Now if you are calling a commit, so that means you are ending the transaction. So let's execute the commit. We see there are three data here. Now after the commit, if you run the things, now you see the data. So what, what you understand with the commit? So the commit has made the changes permanently into the database because of that reason you can find it out the changes can be seen into the other sessions okay so that is what we call as a commit so i hope uh, you understand what is commit how it works and what is this auto commit value now in the upcoming video of tcl we will have a detailed discussion on rollback what is rollback and what are save points so these are the two uh, new statement that will introduce and we will have a detailed discussion on that. So I hope you have enjoyed this particular video. So we will see you in the next video. Till then have a great day. Enjoy your learning. In case if you feel any sort of issues, so feel free to put it in the comment section and I will try to resolve it. So I hope uh, you have enjoyed this particular video. Till then have a great day. Enjoy, keep learning and show your love. Thank you everyone. Bye.